8 December 9, Julian Crypto, Bitcoin over $17,000, today we will talk about macroeconomics, PPI index, also we will talk about CZ and SEC, and we will talk about Huobi report about Bitcoin market and where and when will be the bottom of BTC in 2023. Remember guys, nothing here is a financial advice. So let's start from the beginning. Let's start from the Bitcoin. BTC is back above $17,000 rising with US stocks as traders responded to a labor department showing a rise in jobless claims report, a possible sign that federal interest rates hikes could slow down. This is that increase in price. And today we will have also the PPI, Producer Price Index. PPI measures the change in the price of goods sold by manufacturers. It's a leading indicator of consumer price inflation. A higher than expected is bearish for BTC and bullish for USD. A lower than expected is bullish for BTC and bearish for USD, of course. And today we have to tell you also that uh, this man is talking about BTC again, Chang Peng Zhao. Chang Peng Zhao is saying Bitcoin specifically is, is a slightly better form of money. It fixes some of the problems we have with money today on limited supply. Not easy to use, not a lot of freedom and not very low fees, Chang Peng Zhao said. And here is what he's saying else about BTC and the market. So we look at internet, you know, uh, a bunch of e-commerce companies failed, we uh, Webvan, um, Diapers.com, a bunch of those guys. But guess what? Amazon is one of the most valuable companies in the world today. So uh, just because there's a few failures doesn't mean the industry, the technology or all the companies are bad. So we just got to we just got to keep our hands down. All right. This is the quote from Chang Peng Zhao. And what is going on with SEC, Security and Exchange Commissions in US issued a letter to companies flagging the need to disclose any potential impact from Mayam in the crypto markets. A sample letter to such companies is asking for instance if they face any risk to their businesses due to excessive redemption withdrawals or suspension redemption or withdrawals of crypto assets. And what is going next? Huobi predicts crypto market bottom in early 2023. According to Huobi research, Bitcoin may reach the bottom of $15,000 around March 2023, which will signal the next crypto market rebound. And here are eight Huobi predictions. The market will reach the bottom in early 2023. Social tycoons in Web2, such as Twitter, will continue to pursue Web3, introducing a new paradigm of social fi. Free ecological prosperity for Layer 2 will happen in 2023. Four accelerated ZK network will start to launch. Five DAP chain will usher in a period of rapid growth. Six, bona fide demand for on-chain storage is growing rapidly and the storage segment will embrace substantial and organic development. Seven, on-chain regulation will be strengthened and some protocols may be endangered. And eight, cryptocurrencies will be adopted as a payments or authorized as a fiat currency by even more countries. And here some other data. More than 320 million users in 2022, which are currently verified in cryptocurrency space, most of them in Asia. Most of percentage of crypto users, according to, uh, according to society, according to how many people is in each country, are in the United States. More than 13 percent of population have cryptocurrencies and 55 of that uh, of that uh, people 55 percent are people between 18 and uh, 48 years old 
and some differences between different ecosystems Ethereum, Solana, Cosmos, Polkadot, Aptos, Avalanche, Algorand, Internet Computer, Near, Phantom Internet Computer is the fastest actual performance more than 11,000 transactions per second and Aptos is the fastest according to transaction confirmation time nice and what about summary of security incidents on cross chain bridges in 2022 for example horizon over 100 million hacked and leaked nomad over 164 million in dollars leaked and ronin bridge over 600 million leaked due to private private key leak and what is going on with uh, AI? So here is the owner and the founder of GPT-3. GPT-3 has crossed 1 million users in just 5 days. To compare, it took Netflix 41 months, Facebook 10 months and Instagram 2 and a half months. But uh, many haven't yet realized its full potential. Here are 10 mind-blowing things that you can do using it right now. First, generate code. ChatGPT3 can help you generate code to build your app website from scratch. Next, track fitness, the back code, have a personal assistant, marketing plan, create a visual machine, creative uh, liberty, develop plugins. Uh, next, game development and medical aid. Nice, this is the future. GPT-3 is a future in my opinion, AI is a future, neural networks are a future and here you can read a, a, a story a story about a little robot and the whole story was created by chat GPT-3 and the pictures were created by DALI E2, prompts to illustrate them. So this person asked to write a children's story about a robot who wanted to be a human. Here's the story it came up. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a robot named Robbie who lived in a world full of machines. Robbie was different from the other robots from he didn't want to spend his days following orders and carrying out tasks like other robots did. Instead, Robbie dreamed of being a human. He longed to feel the sun off his face, to breathe fresh air, to experience all the wonderful things that humans did. But most of all, Robbie wanted to be able to make his own choices and live his own, live his own life. One day Robbie decided to take a chance and make his dreams a reality. He snuck away from the robot factory where he lived and he began his journey to the human world. Robbie traveled for many miles facing many challenges along the way. He had to cross vast deserts, climbs over um, mountains and have a raging river, but he never gave up, determined to reach his destination. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, Robbie arrived in a human world. He was overstuck by all the sights and sounds around him, and he couldn't believe that he had finally made it. But just as Robbie was starting to explore his new surroundings, a group of humans spotted him and began chase after him. They were afraid of Robbie, not understanding that he was just a friendly robot who wanted to be their friend. Robbie ran as fast as he could, dogging and waving through the streets. He didn't want to hurt anyone and he just wanted to be left alone. But the humans were relentless and they continued to chase him. Just when Robbie thought that uh, he was going to be caught, they stumbled upon a, 
old man who took pity on him. The old man listened to Robbie's story and understood why he came to the human world. The old man helped Robbie from the humans who were chasing him the, and he taught Robbie all about being a human. Robbie learned to speak, how to laugh and how to enjoy the simple things in life. And as the days went by, Robbie discovered that being a human, being a human was even better than he had ever, ever dreamed. dreamed. He made many new friends and he was finally able to live the life he had always wanted. Robbie may have started out as a robot, but in the end he proved that anyone can be a human if there they believe in themselves and never give up on their dreams. The end.